Well, hey friends, it's been a while. Um, sorry about, I think I was like, I haven't even looked up the last time I made a video, maybe like three months ago. I have no clue. Um, I definitely have not forgotten about my channel. I have just been so busy with just school and sorry about my, my cat, um, school and work and just everything that I have in life um but I made like little videos along the way I just never really did anything with them um so I was trying to think back through like what all I've done in the past three months and I have been just like shocked about how even though I haven't posted up a video in a while um y'all are still messaging me and you are still uh like I have like new subscribers every day and even though it's like still a small channel most of those subscribers are subscribers are actually heading over to my Instagram and messaging me so that has been just phenomenal um and so last week I actually um it's first day of October woo um because I don't think I posted since like probably July or something um but I actually last um, last month went to my endorsers conference so every three years for my endorser uh, for the Air Force I have to go out to a conference that they have for their chaplains um, and so this was my second year so I just went ahead and went and um, it was so just like surreal like I walked into this banquet room and there was a chaplain there that was a recruiter and he's probably going to watch this video. Um, he was like, hey, you have a YouTube channel, don't you? And I was like, mm, cause I was just in like regular civvy clothes. Um, and he was like, you have a YouTube channel. And I was like, uh, yeah, I do. And um, he is a chaplain recruiter and he said that um, my channel, he started looking up online like, the resources that chaplains have to uh, online for to help them out and my channel is the one that came up so <laughs> he was like he said it was surreal for him to have me just like walk in there and then here I am um, and he he thought it was so cool like he like called up his wife and was like I found the girl that was on YouTube and um, and so we talked a little bit and then it was also kind of cool too because also somebody else that may be watching um I was sitting in like a, a military specific I just spit everywhere oh. um a specific military um uh like meeting for my endorser and um this guy turns around and shakes my hand and and says that my my videos uh, really encouraged him and meant a lot to him um, and it sounds like he's actually going army. So it was just weird. Like my friend that um, she uh, she's in my endorser and she was my roommate at the conference. Like it was just every turn she she like these people were coming up to me like talking about my YouTube channel, and she was like, "Wow, that's amazing!" So it's been pretty cool. Um, I think another candidate follows me now on here. Hello, um, and then she and she was also like, "I'm gonna send this out to people I know." So I think that's pretty been pretty cool. Um, and just having y'all consistently still like keeping up with me and and messaging me and um, some text messages and uh, in. Instagram and um, stuff actually on my channel that's been so cool for me to see and I love that um, I think I get probably two or three people a week um, on my Instagram just kind of asking questions whether that's enlisted side um, going into the into the chaplaincy um, or if that's officer side or just simply officer questions so I have been just like shocked it's been really cool um, definitely something to think about on my end though because I was talking with that recruiter and um, he did bring up some points of concern um, for my channel um, some things that I have to think about um, whether I want to um, how much this channel does mean to me almost because uh, there is a possibility of it anything internet wise because it is public it can get out there and people will know my face and he said that that could possibly 
um, hurt my career in the future. Um, so I definitely, I've been praying a lot about it and um, just, I don't know, I just want to see God more um, and just try to figure out what would be best because um, I'm just, I'm not a fan of ever limiting myself um, and I always like to do everything possible that I can and so I have to kind of think away a little bit if this YouTube channel is worth me jeopardizing my career. Um, so <laughs> yeah, that's one to think about because um, when you look at chaplains, we do have the capability of possibly going into um, more of specialized units um, and uh, the the recruiter was sharing stories with me about uh, chaplains that do that and um, kind of the secrecy they have to hold and that's just something that um, you know something that God might have for me planned is to be in those kind of units um, since I'm already kind of working a little bit um, with that or steering in that direction I would say um, so I don't know we'll see um, but that that the conference is really cool I would definitely suggest that if you have an endorser um, an ecclesiastical endorser you have to have that to be a chaplain like go to the conferences go make friends go learn the people that's in your endorsement because um, it was just there's a lot of opportunities that just to see where God's at military side um, that was just, it was really cool, especially as a lieutenant, to be surrounded by a lot of colonels. Um, that was just very cool. And then just connections. Um, one thing that was uh, pretty big for me was um, I heard while I was there that there was a chaplain from um, Moody um, that uh, he just recently transferred to another um, base. But he he was just at Moody, and he was actually the chaplain um, that had to go around and alert a couple of the units um, that when my friend actually uh, was killed, um, the funeral that I went to in Arlington, um, he was actually one of the chaplains that had to go around and tell units about that at Moody. Um, so for me, that was extremely special to meet him. Um, he's also now a subscriber to my channel, um, so hello, uh, but that was, that was very cool, and then I got to see another chaplain that I met at, um, uh, when I was on my C2I2 tour, and it was so cool meeting him on the tour, because he was actually the senior chaplain at the time where we were at, and he was a full bird, and once we figured out that we were both from the same endorsement, we just like up in arms, just started just, just having a ball, and I shared with him like how much that meant to me, and I shared with him that just in my endorser, we're just a big family, and it was cool for the other the other candidates hadn't seen that before that I could easily connect with the full bird because we we know that we agree on the same theological perspectives because we're in the same endorser and treat them like family and um, it was really cool because um, I believe he's retired now um, and he was a senior chaplain of a pretty pretty important base um, and he was tearing up when I was sharing that experience with him. And just for a lieutenant to have a retired colonel, um, that what my words said and what I felt meant so much to him. Um, and one thing that he brought up too was uh, the my endorser is kind of going through this whole like rearranging um, kind of their branding. And one thing he, he mentioned was that they never talked about family. Yet that as to me is the biggest part of why I love my endorser is the family perspective. So um, that meant a lot to him. But it was just that was just a phenomenal week um, being there and just being because it is family. Um, being with those folks. So anyways, just a like real recap of what has happened in the past three three months. So last time um, I was going to make a video, I talked about how I was going to have one of my followers come on base with me and uh, tour around and just uh, see if chaplaincy was meant for her. And she came and I felt so bad <laughs> because... Um, 
I like by the end of the day sh I looked at her and I was like I'm so sorry I have not once asked how you're doing right now and I was like we just been go 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 this whole time and I was like that's just how it is in the reserve world and the chaplaincy um but she got to oh that's loud But she got to just experience what it's like and um, I just felt bad because I should have been like, oh, how are you doing? Um, and I just got an update from her. I'm actually about to, I need to respond to her of just like where God has called her to, which also is a subscriber. So <laughs> I'm getting to your text message. Um, and just really, I really love those updates from everybody. Just knowing where you're at, even if you are just going to BMT, not even chapel side. Um, just, I love it so much. And it really just helps me know how to pray for y'all. But just getting those updates and seeing where God has called y'all to. Because even chap chaplaincy is not, always the, can't, it's not always the best way to share your love for Christ um, in the military. Sometimes that's actually being inside of a unit. Um, so some people, that's just the route some people take. And I think one big thing was pointed out to me this past couple of months, because I have had a lot of enlisted side message me, is as a, um, used to be called chaplain assistant, and now it's for religious affair personnel, um, you also have the opportunity to... There's a lot of ministry also in that opportunity on the enlisted side. So I think that's pretty cool and... Um, I don't know a whole lot of information about that side, but I can try to get it for you um, best as I can. But um, that's been pretty cool. So she came and um, I think I exhausted her. I don't know. Um, but, and then we actually had another drill after that. So yeah. I think I've had like two drills since then. I'm not too sure. But one of the coolest, oh, there's just so much to catch up on. Um, we had Air Force Ball, um, and maybe I'll show a picture here of that. Um, so we had Air Force Ball, and then earlier that day, it was pretty cool. Um, we, oh no, it was the next day. So I had heard that there were, um, so that was like a Saturday, we had the Air Force Ball, and I had heard that there were um, two folks that were in security forces that were looking at becoming chaplains, and they're both enlisted, and um, that next day, we actually went out to a, team, or a promotion ceremony for security forces, and those two uh, guys came and found me and started asking me questions. Um, and it was cool because one of them actually was at the Air Force Ball the night before. So I got to talk to him. And he was actually there with one of my sorority sisters. <laughs> so it was pretty cool. But um, so it was, so we went to the, the promotion ceremony that next Sunday. And we're like in our ABUs. And then there was an obstacle course after that of just like hardcore, like working out stuff. And me and another chaplain were there, and the chaplain was like, we're going to do this. And we're like, all right, let's do it. So it was just so cool because we were the last people to go. Um, we didn't win, but <laughs> we definitely didn't come in last. And uh, it was just really cool because we were carrying up pretty heavy stuff up a hill. And every single person in that unit was running up that hill with us. And they were like, come on, chaplains, come on. They thought it was hilarious. Um, so that was just cool just seeing the support of them and, and what happens when you invest in your unit as a chaplain. So anyways, um, back to the, so we had Air Force Ball. It was super fun. Um, so if you all follow me on Instagram, you probably have noticed that there's been a fella that has popped up, um, a lot on my Instagram. Um, he also watches my videos. Um, hello. <laughs> um, but, uh, we went to the Air Force Ball together. It was phenomenal. We had a lot of, a lot of good time. Um, he's actually prior army. So it was a very nice experience nice experience to have him at the ball um and it was really cool because it it kind of hit me a lot that whoever I date or whoever I marry um I associate myself with in a romantic way um it, it can definitely directly affect your reputation so we were at the ball and um 
and my boyfriend was just very cordial with everybody and um because he was actually an nco when he was in the army he's out now so it's okay <laughs> it's okay i looked it up it's okay <laughs> um it would be okay if he was still in the army but he is, but he's not <laughs> uh but he was because he was an nco he he knows how to speak to brass and there's a lot of brass that were there and um, it was just very, uh, he held himself very well and I was very impressed by it and it was really cool just kind of looking at it and, and thinking as an officer, I have to, um, that's something to think about is my spouse could directly affect my reputation as an officer. So I was extremely thankful to him and thankful to God about just how cordial and how well he presented himself um, and that he also had a lot of like connection with like both brass and enlisted side uh while at the ball so it was just great we had a great time um we do have a great time together all the time but um so that happened and then um school i did so since the last video i was at the tail end i think of my semester and that was really difficult for me, um, kind of getting through that semester because this past summer was really difficult just with going on tour and school and, you know, everything that happened with my friend. And so between now and last semester, last video, I had the end of my semester and I actually came out uh, with pretty good, pretty good grades that I thought I was going to fail. So I was praising Jesus for that. Like that was phenomenal. Like the Lord was definitely looking out for me on that. And then, um, so I'm in my fall semester right now, um, and then I actually, if you again keep up with my Instagram, um, you'll notice that I, I traded in my truck, that I'm always in, I traded in my truck, got a white truck, a week later got rear-ended, totaled my truck, went and then put a deposit down, so I had to go through insurance and get all my money. I then had to go through, I then put a deposit down on a black truck that was the same type of truck as my white one, lost that truck because they had sold it to somebody right as I put a deposit down, and then um, me and my boyfriend went all the way up to a different town um, one day and bought a gray truck. So now I have a gray truck, <laughs> and it is beautiful, and I love it, and it's phenomenal, and definitely a blessing from God. Very expensive truck, a lot more than I ever bargained for, but that whole thing was like a month-long process, and it was very stressful just going back and forth, and it was really hard, too, because um, I had to go to JAG and talk to them about a couple things, and... Some of the guys in security forces were like, you should have gone to the hospital um, because for somebody to total a truck, um, I could have been injured and not known about it. And then they also brought up that I could be injured later on down the road um, from this and not know it. So I should have gone to the doctor. Uh, I just didn't know any of that information. And it was just hard because I was the one that was hit, yet I was the one that was having to advocate for myself um, to get all the money back from insurance. So... Because it wasn't my insurance I was using, it was the person that hit me. Um, because they they were the one that deemed my truck as totaled. So that was just a lot of heartache and a lot of time and um, just all that together. But um, God is still good and he's still awesome. And it has been um, a joy and pleasure to um, now be in a beautiful relationship um, that has definitely helped me see a different side of um, the love of God, which has been really cool. Um, so all that's happened since my last video, I'm trying to think, oh, and then also, um, uh, actually last, last week, um, I, my grandpa passed away. So, um, still trying to like comprehend that that actually happened. Um, and just, I don't know, like just, I don't know, it's hard. I was there for it, uh, which is nice. Um, uh, but just, I don't know, it's just been... The past two years I've had seven people pass. Um, two were killed in action. Um, three grandparents. Um, couple friends. It's just, 
it's been a lot of people pass in the past two years and I tell my roommate all the time I'm like if you haven't noticed my life is kind of in crisis mode a lot of times and I don't know why that is but um, God is still good and he is still awesome and um, I truly think that there should be rejoicing in death as much as there's rejoicing in birth um, especially if those people are going home to heaven. So, I don't know, just trying to process that and um, trying to work through that. But, um, so all that's happened in the past three months. Um, it's been a lot. And um, hopefully I can get, I joined a gym today because um, I have, I've learned that when in relationships you gain a lot of weight because you're constantly eating out. Whereas before I didn't do that. Um, so I joined the gym because I got to get back into shape. Um, and just, I don't know, just I got to get my life kind of back on track a little bit. Um, especially just school gets me and I'm still doing counseling and um, I don't know. So yeah. But that's been my life the past three months. Um, what have y'all been doing? What have y'all been up to? Um, also, welcome to all of my new folks that have been here. Um, if you have found me, it's either because you are wanting to be an officer in the Air Force or you are wanting to be a chaplain or even a chaplain assistant. I've noticed that that is also a crowd that I'm gaining. Um, to all the recruiters out there, let me know if I'm doing something wrong. <laughs> Well, because I guess you're starting to watch my videos too. <laughs> um, but y'all are awesome and I've thoroughly enjoyed any time I get updates or questions. Um, it's been a pretty cool ministry, uh, especially hearing from a recruiter that I'm doing the job that they wish they could be doing. <laughs> um, and I'm like, you know, I just want to get information out and just help out people. And it's all about just us discerning what God has for us. So... Um, welcome to all my new folks that are coming out. I do have the comment section below here that you can ask any questions on or share encouragement or ask for prayer requests. Um, but I also have my Instagram. I just recently made that private. I did have it as public, but it is private. Um, most of the time, if your name looks somewhat familiar to me, um, from YouTube, I'm going to add you, especially if you start messaging me, um, then I know that you are from YouTube. Uh, I definitely love my YouTube family to be on Instagram. Um, if you can, I mean, you don't have to be, but um, you're just going to see lots of pictures of me doing, going to sporting events pretty much. Um, but uh, that's just the best way to ask me questions is my um, messaging on there. So, and I also just love being a family um, and getting to hang out with each other. Um, also, I've noticed too, I'm not really big on following people on Instagram, but um, is that something that y'all want? Is that something that, like, would that make us feel more of a family if I also follow you back on Instagram? Um, I'm not too sure how any of that works or... I don't know, um, but I always love it when, because um, there's a couple of military sites that I follow on Instagram, and when they follow me, I'm like, oh goodness, this is awesome, and I actually like submitted one of my Air Force ball photo um, to one of those sites, it was like a military couple site, and I got posted up on it, I was so excited, <laughs> and I like sent it out to everybody, I was like, look, I got posted, um, so I was super excited, because um, I am so proud of being able to date a, uh, uh, beautiful handsome man that was in the army i'm so proud <laughs> he's gonna be watching this <laughs> um but so welcome to everybody um share your prayer requests ask any questions i love love getting to share my time with y'all and um i'm excited to be back and in the realm of things um also uh, going back to what that recruiter told me, um, there might be some videos I might have to repost up and take some content out of it um, just to kind of watch my back of it. So if you see any um, reposts of videos or po videos that have been taken down, um, it's for specifically that reason. So um, don't freak out or anything. But um, y'all have a blessed night. Um, let me know if y'all need anything. Um, also, one thing I want to point out too is... Um, on my Instagram, um, if you have questions, that's great, um, but 
there might be a limitation I might have of like constant communication uh, just because I do have work and um, <laughs> I'm at a job and especially you message me really late it might take me a while to get back to you um, so back-to-back -back com communication is probably not gonna be my best thing I can do but if you ask me questions I would love to be able to answer that for you but um I love y'all and know that y'all are being prayed for and and as always if y'all could be praying for me also um because there has been some kind of hard life stuff but also some beautiful stuff that's happened in the past three months and I've really appreciated it so I'm excited to be back I'm excited to see y'all again <sighs> It's been great. Y'all have a great night. <laughs>